The person beside me is Joner Season. Hi, my name is Joner and uh, welcome to our garden, the Veggie Farm! Joner is one of the millennials or today's urban agricultural warriors that will revolutionize the way we farm in the future. And that is urban farming. And urban farming or urban agriculture is simply producing or growing food in a city or heavily populated areas. Ini ang pag-cultivate kag pag-distribute sang food like vegetables in urban areas o kon isa ka syudad. When you are into farming in the Philippines, most Filipino mindset of farming is associated with poverty. Farmers are poor and there is no future if you choose farming as a career. That's why most Filipino millennials chooses a different profession aside from taking agricultural courses. But did you know, everything changed during the pandemic and this present-day economic inflation. Tumaas na naman ang presyo ng sibuyas. Presyo nga ng sibuyas ay pumapalo na sa 500 pesos ang kada kilo. Kulang na ang supply ng asukal sa bansa ayon sa Sugar Regulatory Administration o SRA, kaya raw tumaas ang presyo nito. Today, most millennials realize the importance of food production and some millennials slowly engage into growing their own food kapin pa subong sa pagsaka sa mga balaklon or na experience naton subong na economic inflation we are facing food crisis nga every time magbakal ka sa mga vegetable tama ka mahal ito na may idea nga why not ang ining mga ginabakal nga mga mahal nga mga vegetable is uh, itanong ko sa likod yung balay Isama ko sa mga nawad ang trabaho uh, during the time nga nag nga nag-hit gid ang pandemic no that was March 2020 So I went home uh, without a job and uh, I had a coffee at the backyard and then nakita ko ni nga mon nga idol nga far nga backyard lot nga ginimo lang basurahan pagabukid lang wala siya ginagamit so I started to think why not i I sugudan ko siya tamnan. Joner started a small garden and eventually learned more about urban agriculture and modern methods of farming which is hydroponics, a soilless technique of growing crops. So ining lettuce farming or hydroponics farming, na learn ko lang, nga wala man ko budget. Pero kay bangod, uh, I have the will uh, nga maglearn, I have the will nga Kusok siya padakoon for the sake of my family to be financially stable. I need to do. Kahit maski ano siya kabudlay. From the start, it was a struggle for him. But he is determined to learn and persistent to follow his passion. Uh, mabudlay, mabudlay siya. Kinang lang naging masuguran. You can start small and dream big. Kay ang iba na bigin na paminsan nila, ay, kabudlay man na. So, if you really think nga budlay, at i, ang mga in-outcomes, na budlay, budlay gin man. You're you're really right. Kay bangod law of attraction. Ano gina mamin sir mo? Amo gina ang mangin uh, ama tabo sa imo. Pero if you really think nga uh, kaya mo na siya, hapos na na siya. Uh, Atoli kaya mo gid. The pandemic helped us recognize the need of keeping a healthy lifestyle in order to boost our immune system and resist the illnesses brought on by the COVID-19. And as a result, people seek healthier food that is free of any contamination. Also, the looming food crisis that has been aggravated recently due to the acceleration of inflation paved the way for this generation to take on farming or grow their own food, especially the millennials who are living in the urban areas. The Philippines once had a strong agriculture industry and we have all the factors we need to get back to that again if we invest now and continuously invest to this generation and expose them to the new techniques of modern farming millennials like joner are one of the keys for food security and food sustainability this modern technique of farming also helps reduce plastic pollution by using the used plastic bottle of softenings as net pots to hold contain and anchor a plant's roots to your hydroponic system innovative ideas and environment friendly pa Before I end this video I just wanted to share a life lesson nga natun-an ko diri sa Veggie Farms and of course kay Junior Season 
Number one, hindi lahat ng nangyari sa pandemic ay masama o hindi maganda. You just have to look at the other side of the coin or be optimistic. Just like Joner, nawalan siya ng trabaho dahil sa pandemic. At dahil din sa pandemic, he rekindled his passion sa pagtatanim. And now, his passion turned into a generating income. And he is now a supplier sa mga malalaking restaurants dito sa Bacolod. At malaki rin ang contribution niya sa food security and food sustainability sa ating bansa. And second is, failure is part of success. When you failed at certain points in life, do not consider it to be your last hope of achievement. Kagaya ni Joner, he failed too many times when he started doing hydroponics. But he is determined to learn and took those failures as lessons. And he took it also as positive experience. Always remember to take things positively and understand that if you have not achieved something, you did not receive a tag of failure, but rather you take home the lessons and ensure yourself of not repeating the same mistakes. You can use those failures as motivation for your goal. Do not let your failure na ikasira mo. Instead, you should make them a reason for your success the next time. Lagi nyong tandaan that your failures are reasons for your success. And last is the will to survive. The characteristics that make humans unique to every other living thing on earth is our strong will to live and thrive and ability to continuously adapt, change, hope, and love. Meron tayong makapangyarihan na damdamin at lakas at kakayanan na pagtagumpayan ang anumang sakuna at kahirapan. Madamog yung nga sa labat mga kawonder! Till next time! So if you want to know more uh, about urban farming or gardening, uh, you may also visit our veggie farm garden located here at Hermelinda Home Subdivision, uh, Barangay, Mansilingan, Bacolod City, uh, near Coca-Cola plant. If you also wanted to have uh, a setup uh, in your backyard or in your home for a small garden, just follow our Facebook page, Veggie Farm Garden. <laughs>